Hi there, this is Chris, chapping the cap from Moto Legends. Today I want to talk to you about a very exciting new off-road suit from Klim. It's called the Baja S4, the S4 standing for four-way stretch. So this is the Klim Baja S4, as I've mentioned, S4 meaning four-way stretch. Now, it is a serious off-road suit, by which I mean it does not come with a waterproof membrane. In my view, this suit is not just about looking good on the GS. It's a very specific tool. It's fantastic at what it does, but it's not an all-singing, all-dancing, commuting and touring suit. Here with Sean, Sean's our shop manager here at Moto Legends. He's a more serious, off-roader than any of us. Whenever he has a break from, from the shop, if he goes away, he's always on some kind of adventure or off-road trip somewhere. And I know that, Sean, this is your kind of suit. So tell us what you think it is. Why have they made it? How does it differ from other products on the market? So I, I think this is different from things that they've made before. Uh, they, they tried to do something similar to this in the past. It was called the Adventure Rally Air suit or something like that. It was 1,200 pounds nobody bought it because ultimately it wasn't comfortable enough and this is massive move up in comfort um, a drop in price um, because they haven't got all those ridiculous materials that you don't need um, but it's still got swathes of incredibly abrasion resistant material so if you are going off-roading in the uk chances are you have to ride to a trail unless you've got a van but not everyone's got a van um, you'll you'll ride there which means you'll be on tarmac and often the trails will be broken, so there'll be tarmac in between. You can have a mile of green lane and then three miles of road. And in that time, you're going to have slippery tyres. You might have come mud on them. So you'll need good protection in case you come off on the road. And equally, you could do that um, if, if you went ab abroad. You, you'd want good protection as well, and this, this would cover you for that. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to run briefly through some of the, the details, the features, and so on of the suit, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the pants, and also this suit comes with a matching waterproof outer, which um, is an, an interesting subject in its own right. One of the main features of this suit, one of the, in terms of the construction, has large areas, these light grey areas here, might look like super fabric from afar, but this is a mesh, made from Dynatech. Dynatech is a super strong material from Schurler Industries used in the making of a, a lot of jeans. Klim have come up with a very fancy name, they call it Carbonite. Carbonite doesn't mean anything, it's just a super strong mesh. That's important because in many mesh products, those kind of cheap 100 pound mesh jackets, if you have an accident, if you put any stress on the mesh, it's just gonna rip apart. So this flows the air incredibly well, um, but it is super strong. In fact, you can't see how mesh-like it is. I know it sounds weird, but I was doing some work on this the other night. The TV was on in the background. I put it over my head. I can actually watch TV through the mesh here. So it is very breathable um, and, and will flow a lot of air. And we have large amounts of that all up and down the arms here, um, across the chest and down, down the back. In terms of other materials, big thing for this suit, as Sean has mentioned, they wanted this suit to be comfortable in the way that its previous incarnation wasn't. So there are areas here, this lighter grey material here is a thousand denier stretch cordura. And in essence, that's the same material that they use in the Klim Marrakesh. So it's super comfy. It causes the jacket to stretch around you. It fits really nicely. Also got these darker grey areas um, around the pockets and the shoulders here. That's a 750 denier cordura. So as Sean says, this is a pretty strong suit. Um, in terms of road protection, the suit, by the way, is classified AA under the latest EN 17092 regulations. It does not get better than that for a textile suit. The only garments that can ever reach AAA are either denim jeans um, with a, a strong Kevlar lining or a, a strong single layer fabric or leather. So this is about as good as you're ever going to get in terms of a textile suit. Comes equipped with D3O armor. It's the vented LP1 D3O armor in the shoulders and the elbows and comes supplied obviously with a back protector. And of course, again, in terms of its credentials as a road suit, you don't need this as much if you're off-road, but you've got these large areas on the um, shoulders and the elbows of super fabric. Super fabric is the material made up of ceramic 
balls. It's about as abrasion resistant as anything that you can get on a motorcycle jacket. So as Sean's mentioned, this is a great suit for off-road, but if you've got to travel to where you're going, this is also a suit that you can wear fairly safely on road as well. Um, in terms of some of the features, Sean, loads of pockets on this. Yeah, there are six pockets. So you've got um, two pouch pockets at the front uh, that are zipped and Velcroed. You've then got these hand warmer style pockets as well, which is just, I think, more of a comfort thing when you're off the bike. Um, you've then got a, the yeah, their sort of pocket. They use it for their um, identity card, which you can- Or credit cards yeah, or anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you've got a large pocket at the back you could use for gloves or a map or whatever else you want okay. to put in there. Inside, it's also quite detailed in the way that clean jackets yeah. often are. So you've got a pouch pocket here, two zipped inner pockets. Um, there's another pocket at the back to hold uh, a water bladder, for three litre water bladder, and there's a loop at the top that holds that in place. And you can route that two different ways, I think. Yeah, so either under or over the arm, and you've got a securing strap here for the straw. Um, you can hook these back as well. Right. Uh, which is just a comfort thing. And for air airflow again. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that I like about this suit, and we see it on the Klim Kodiak as well, is that it comes with a facility. It's not supplied as standard, but you've got some zips here that enable you to take a, um, a kidney support belt. Now, I went off-road recently. I have a poor lower back. I was worried stiff about my back getting hurt with a big jolt, and I, I wore a um, a very strong kidney, kidney belt, but this comes as part of the package. When you wear a kidney belt off-road, I think it's very uh, reassuring. I love it. Um, so that's a nice uh, facility, facility to have. It is, of course, a little bit of, of, an, of an extra. Now, Sean, I was doing some work on this jacket. I couldn't find out exactly wh where it was, but there's always a secret compartment in a Klim jacket. Yes. And where is that? You don't know. <laughs> is it? No. Right, you can There is one. But don't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're not allowed to, allowed to tell you. It's that <laughs> secret. But if you're trying to hide documents or you've got stuff that you really don't, don't, don't want to lose, there is an arrangement somewhere around the back protector where you have a totally hidden pocket. It's all very James Bond and secret service. Um, in terms of some of the other features, in terms of living with this jacket and uh, wearability and comfort and so on, you've got a soft lined collar there. Um, you've got this stuff. Now, this looks as though it's just part of the, the, the decoration of the jacket, but this is actually black 3M Scotch light. And Klim are very pr are proud of this. They are um, an obsessive company. They test their gear more than anybody. And when I went over to see them, they were telling me how they all went out, and the entire company went out in the middle of the night. They're based in the middle of Idaho. They've got an enormous cornfield next to them. In fact, I think Idaho is a cornfield. Um, but they, they go out there and they see if they can spot one another wearing this suit. So. The way they place it, they want, to be, they want it to be recognizable when you're seen wearing this suit at night. They want a car to recognize that it's a human being. So it's all done in a very scientific way so that when you move in this, you can tell at night that it's a person, not just, just a road sign. So they're very uh, excited by that. By that. Um, what else do we, do we There's have? There's lots of adjustment on here as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, for comfort, although the, you've got the stretch here, you've also got... Uh, panels, everyone's got different size forearms. I've got skinny arms, so I'd pull this right in. You've got adjusters around yeah, the waist. Yeah, there's a nice uh, kind of elasticated adjuster for, for the waist, waist to pull it in. Some Klim items tend to be worn a little bit loose, a little bit baggy, because if you're off-road, you don't want it to be too, uh, too tight. But of course, that doesn't work on someone who's, who's very thin, so you can, you can pull this in, uh, especially important if, if you're a road rider. I'd say the cut on this isn't quite as boxy as a... Um, the, the Badlands. Yeah, but yeah. it's not quite as slim as the Kodiak either. Somewhere yeah. It sits somewhere in between. I think that's helped with the stretch. Of course. And the sleeves we've got, um, we don't have zips, Sean, but do you think that's an issue? Only if you're wearing really bulky gloves, but I don't think there'd be many times you'd be wearing a big winter glove with a suit like this. So actually it's fine on this suit. And I do think they open up a little bit further than either the Badlands or the Kodiak, okay. um, which is something that a couple of people have noted that they're not the easiest cuffs um, to get a glove inside of. Okay, so this suit, this jacket rather, retails at 590 pounds. Now, that is not inexpensive. We have a lot of jackets here that come complete with thermal liners, complete with waterproof liners for less than that. But this is a 
very highly, highly spec at all. It's not for everyone, but if you're going off-road, if you want the best of the best, it's incredibly breathable, it's incredibly strong, you're just going to have to pay the money because, because this is the, the ultimate incarnation, I think, of an, of an off-road suit. In terms of the pants, the construction is, I would say, pretty much the same. You've got areas of the 1000 Denier Cordura, the stretch Cordura for, for comfort. You've got the mesh panels here that are going to flow air, the Carbonite um, Dynatec mesh. You've got areas of super fabric here for abrasion resistance. On the trousers, you've got leather goes down the inside of the legs. Now that's for two things. If you're off-road and you're standing up on the bike, it enables you to get a better purchase on the tank. But also if you've got a high exhaust, it can save you burning the trousers because um, none of these materials react particularly well to hot exhaust pipes. Um, you've got armor, obviously, in the knees and the hips, the D3O breathe breathable armor again. Um, what else do we, do we have, Sean? Again, adjusters on the waist, so there's no belt loops per se, and I don't think you'd want to wear braces with this, but yeah. they, they allow you, again, a bit more adjustability. If, you, if your weight fluctuates, it's not so much of a worry with something like this. Being yeah. a, an expensive suit, you wouldn't want to buy it and find out that you know, have, after a big dinner, it doesn't fit you anymore. Yeah. It also obviously attaches to, to the jacket. There's a zip. Yeah, that's so, something so that the Marrakesh doesn't do. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it will do it in future, but um, that that is something that if you are doing road riding in between, um, you you definitely want that yeah. to be zipped together. We've also got, um, as we mentioned on the jacket, we've got these areas of the black 3M Scotch Light. We've got long zips at the bottom of the trousers to enable you to get a boot in. Now, I say long zips, it's not as long as you get on some trousers, but Often when you get a zip on a trouser, if it's a waterproof trouser, the gusset is restricted by the membrane. So even though this zip is not particularly tall, it opens up very wide too. There's no boot that you couldn't get in underneath these. Um, you've also got some adjusters um, um, at the bottom, some, some stud adjusters that are, are going to enable you to, to close this in. And these, these are really going to flow air, more so than any jean or anything yeah. else, because you've just, like you said, you've got the panels all the way to the inside of the leg and even the bits that don't look like mesh are actually mesh yeah, yeah. so if you are stood up off roading it's 30 degrees the air is still going to flow through this yeah so the pants are 480 pounds the jacket was 590 so 1070 pounds can't really comment that's not cheap um, we do a number of suits here i've kind of mentioned but the aman suit the aman suit in total sean is how much about it's four 420 for the jacket, I think. Right, and the pants and then are... It works out for about seven, eight hundred pounds, okay. something like that. So, so that's, that's obviously less than this, and you get a waterproof and you get a thermal. But one has to say in the margin, this is a better suit. It is going to flow more air than something like the Amman. It's going to be much safer on road. You've got the best of the best in, in this and suit. Um, with the Oman, you are stuck with the waterproof membrane it has. If it leaks, that's it. You've got you've got a leaky jacket. Yeah. Um, the thermal that comes with it is the thermal that comes with it. You 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 would essentially be buying things to upgrade it, which would then end up to the suit yeah. of this uh, to the cost of this anyway. Well, Sean, we're, we're going to go on now uh, in a second and talk about the waterproof. Now, one of the things that we like this waterproof is worn over the top. In some ways, that's the intelligent way to wear a waterproof because what it means is that if you put it on and it rains hard, when it's finished, when it stops raining, you take it off, you end up with a particularly dry suit. On one level, it doesn't make sense to have a waterproof on the inside of a garment. Most garments have it on the inside because for convenience, we want one garment that's got it all in. But actually, if you have a waterproof, as indeed the Amman does, if you have a waterproof on the inside, the outside is soaking wet before the membrane has to do its job. It makes a lot of sense to have a waterproof on a suit like this. It makes a lot of sense to have the waterproof on the outer side. But we're gonna come on and talk about the Enduro S4, again, S4 for stretch because it's a, it's a waterproof that's got stretch in. We're going to talk about it because it's an interesting garment in its own right. So this is the Klim Enduro S4. Again, the S4 sound, stands for stretch, four-way stretch. So it's a very stretchy uh, waterproof. The membrane is from Schurler. So I'm imagining it's the sea change membrane. We know the membrane very well. Roka use it in their Revolution jeans and so on. So it's going to be a very wa waterproof membrane. Funnily enough, Klim don't talk about this being particularly breathable, and I don't know why, um, but it's clearly a breathable membrane, but I think they've got the emphasis here on waterproofing rather than breathability. And also, 
breathability is less of an issue when you've got massive vents. Indeed. And indeed. also, you've got a mesh jacket underneath, yep. so you're not wearing it the whole time. Okay. So, as I mentioned already, we approve of a waterproof that's worn over the top of a, um, of a jacket or pant. Just for interest, you buy the same size jacket, waterproof jacket, as you do suit. So if you've got a large size Baja, you would buy a large size in the Enduro. I'd probably be about a medium. I'm about a medium in most t-shirt sizes, 40 right. roughly, 40 inch chest, about yep. five foot 10. Okay. So that okay. helps. So I suppose I'm gonna be about the same. Um, in terms of some of the features, Again, we've got the black scotch light reflector material on the logo and here on the logo on the side and bits on the back. Um, you've got pockets. You don't get many waterproof jackets in truth with pockets. So this is like a mini jacket in its own right. You've got proper pockets here. You've got an adjuster here on the, on the hem as well with, with an adjuster on the inside. Now, Sean, you've mentioned Obviously, you've got YKK zips. Klim would never use anything else. So it's got some big vents underneath the arms, protected with a, um, a YKK zip. So you shouldn't be getting any, any water in them. But it is certainly a very fancy uh, waterproof. Um, any other features, Sean? I mean, we've got a Velcro on, on the cuffs. Yeah, again, so adjustable cuffs. With the stretch, it helps get the gloves in. Um, I, I personally would have liked to see them a little bit wider or a zip on there. But um, I think they've just decided another zip. Maybe it's yep. just an added complication. And then we've got the hood. Yeah. So you've got a hood that tucks away in here. And now if you are a true adventure rider, chances are at some point you're going to end up camping. Now, I'm not sure if I'm 100% convinced by this. But um, the hood's fantastic because if once you're off the bike, you're doing things, you, you could use it as an evening jacket or, or whatever, but if it's raining, chances are you'll want a hood when you've got your helmet off. But you're supposed to be able to tuck this whole thing inside the hood and turn it into a pillow. That's, that's really clean. That's what they're, they're about. Out in, out in the backwoods, there you are with a campfire, desperate for a pillow. I know what, I'm going to fold up my waterproof I, I jacket. I think there's a slight reasoning behind this because it's bulkier than some other waterproofs. Yep. And they're going to have to think of one reason well, you don't have to bring a pillow if you've yeah. got one of these. I don't, don't know if that holds true, but... Um... So if you're camping out and it's not raining, yeah, you've got yourself a pillow. Yeah. Um, okay, so there is one feature of this suit, which we're going to come back to in a second, because I'm going to talk about the trousers also. Uh, not in great, in great detail, because it's much like the jacket, but we're going to come back to the price. This waterproof outer is £320. As I say, let's come back to it. So in terms of the construction, the pants are pretty much the same. Um, so it's the same Sherla waterproof membrane. You've got some Kevlar in the bum for extra abrasion resistance and down the inside of the leg. Um, I suppose the main feature of these trousers, however, Sean, is the full length zip. Now, when you're off-road, that's really useful. Yeah, you're gonna have big boots on. You don't wanna have to take all the buckles off and there's nowhere to tread that's going to be nice and dry. So you want to be able to get all of this gear on um, comfortably. And you've got full length zips that zip either top to bottom or bottom to top, whichever way you prefer. Um, there's adjusters. So there's a couple of different buttons there, um, which I might add, not that you can see them. They're really nice buttons. Yep. Uh, they just clip together really nicely. Um, rubberized zips. Everything feels very premium. And, and that will actually come off completely. So this is literally a step-in waterproof. Now, um, we do some great waterproofs, but one of the issues is even with the ones that we love, the Scott ones, you still have to, at the side of the road or leaning against a tree, you've got to get your leg up, you've got to get your boot in, the boot will snag on the waterproof material. It can be a bit of a pain. With these trousers, you can just offer them up, you undo the zips completely, you put it under the crutch, you do it up, down, down and the there's, legs. There's, it's going to be easy to put on. There's poppers here that, that hold it together while you're trying to locate the zips as well, which is nice. Yep, yep. And you've got adjusters on the waist. So if you're not an absolute perfect fit on these, you can tweak that to make them very comfortable. Yeah. Um, and you've obviously got some of the black 3M Scot Scotch light. That's the, sorry, that's the leather panel as well. There's Kevlar here, um, but I think that's, that's a... And that's something you worry about panel. with, a, with a waterproof, the, the cheaper yeah. waterproofs. Yeah. You've got leather on the inside, you've got a big high exhaust, you put your, your waterproofs on and you melt them on the yeah. bike, so. 
Okay, price. 320, 300 pounds. So 620 pounds for a set of waterproofs. We Sean. have got laminated suits that cost less than that. No, indeed. That, <laughs> that, that, that was what I was thinking. We can do a complete suit with fully armoured, with thermal, um, two layer laminate for £500. This is £620 for a waterproof suit. Sean, what's that all about? I just think if you're buying this kind of suit, you're probably not buying it because you're really concerned about how much it's costing you. You've probably got a bike that work, that's worth twenty-five grand. <laughs> Um, not necessarily. Some people will be doing serious off-roading. They'll, they'll have a uh, um, Husqvarna 701, seven, seven to ten thousand pounds, but they're doing serious off-roading. They want kit that really works and they don't want to compromise and they yeah. want the experience off-roading or the experience on their travels to be as good as it can be without discomfort and without crap bits of kit that fall apart or and John, and I suppose I'm not suggesting that, that, that you buy crap bits of kit that will fall, fall <laughs> apart, but in anyone's world, £620 is a lot. But I think it comes down to what you said. If this is your thing, if you are seriously off-roading and you do not want the inconvenience of being at the side of the road, of having a pair of waterproofs that you burn a hole in, that are difficult to get on when it starts to pee down with rain, then there's no doubt about it, this is a fabulous waterproof outfit. I just find that it sticks in the gullet a wee bit to be paying 620 pounds. So when you add that on, this comes with a 1,070 for the suit itself. This comes to 1,700 quid. Now that buys you a, a doesn't Stadler. quite buy you a Nivala, but it, buy, it buys you a, Stad, a Stadler. But maybe we just have to accept that this is a different, you know, the Stadler's no good for off-road. No. This is for off-road. So, so um, it's horses for courses. Yeah, if you're doing those kind of trips, if you want to ride north to South America, that would be a fabulous bit of kit because you just don't know what you're going to come across. You're going to come across deserts, mountains, everything. You would still actually be paying more because you'd need yeah. a thermal on yeah. as well. Yeah. But, but you then can really customise. Yeah, to, you can to, just tailor make yeah. what, you know, if you're... So you're going off on an adventure ride soon, aren't you? I'm Where are you going? going next week to yeah. Portugal for two weeks. This would be a perfect suit it's for you. really disappointing, actually, yeah. because well, well, maybe, I maybe, don't have my size in stock. Really? <laughs> well, maybe if Clem are watching this, if you get one out to Sean really, really quickly, he is prepared to test it for, now for you. I would um, go to that trouble for them. Right, OK. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose, Sean, where I get to a little bit, whilst I love the suit and I can see that the waterproof is extraordinary, for me, I've got to compare it with this, this is the Scots. These are very stretchy, they're very waterproof, they're very breathable, they're fantastic quality. But you buy both the jacket and the pant in fairly small packages, smaller packages than the yeah. those. If space is at a premium, you're buying that for £160. And you can use those in. as a pillow. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you've got to that two of them. So um, that's not for us to, us, us to decide. This is not the kind of suit that's going to be bought by someone who's really looking to get the ultimate in value for money. This is for someone who wants to buy the very best kit that's out there, someone who's doing serious off-roading. Off and, and, you know, with one of those, as soon as it gets hot, hot again, or sort of temperate, temperate kind of temperatures, so yeah. 15, 20 degrees, on this, you've got vents. Yeah. You can open the vents up, you've got pockets. There's, this is so much more than they are, but equally, if you're doing a lot of off-roading and you've got waterproofs on, you fall off, yeah, you know, damaging that is a, a lot more expensive. If I, was, if I was sticking in the UK green laning, I'd probably go with those. If I was doing a big tour somewhere and I really wanted that waterproof for two, three weeks at a time because it could get stuck in long periods of rain, that would be a much better solution. Okay, so that's the Baja S4 and the matching Enduro S4. Fantastic suit, not inexpensive, but probably the best at what it does. Let's go and summarize. So that was the Baja S4. It's a fantastic suit. And if you're the kind of rider who goes to hot places and when you get to those hot places, you ride in a fashion that's gonna make you even hotter, then the Baja is maybe the suit for you. At 1,070 pounds, it is not cheap, but I'm convinced that it's probably the best suit of its ilk out there. The waterproofs, the Enduro S4, are also fantastic. Fantastic utility, lots of facilities, the long zips up the legs, they are an amazing bit of kit. 
but even I have to question whether 600 pounds makes sense for a set of waterproofs. Now, if you're someone for whom everything just has to match, if you're someone for whom money is no object, then knock yourself out and go for it. But our view would be that if you were to take the Baja suit, match it with a pair of Scots for 160 pounds, you've got a suit that's gonna deliver 95% of, of the same utility. So that's kind of up to you. Anyway, if you'd like to see more Klim gear, visit the website motolegends.com. If you'd like to learn more about the suit itself, to check out the spec in more detail, check on availability, and who knows if you are so minded, even buy one, then click on one of the links on this page. Sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down below. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process as simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on anything we send you. If having received something, you want to return it to us, free returns as well, so you don't pay for that. And we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you want to keep something. We also have an unbeatable prize promise. John Lewis is rightly renowned for its never knowingly undersold promise. We go one stage better. John Lewis will match a competitor's price, but if you find a competitor selling anything cheaper than us, we will beat their price by 10%. Now, I would say that that applies to a UK competitor. If the competitor is in the EU, we will match their landed price. There are a few terms and conditions, but visit the website, nothing onerous. But if you are going to price beat us, then it might be worth checking that out first. If in the future you'd like to receive bulletins from us about new products, then at the top of every page on the website, there's a little bit of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business. If, however, you would prefer to get your information videographically, in other words, in this form, we would be delighted if you wanted to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now, in 2020, if you're watching this in 2020, there's another added incentive to become a subscriber. We are giving away a 125cc, what we're calling a Steve McQueen tribute bike. It's gonna be given away towards the end of the year to someone who is a subscriber to our YouTube channel. Again, you can visit the website or our YouTube channel and you'll find details there. Finally, I'd like to make a little play for our fabulous little shop here in Guildford. The shop is small. It's got a, um, a fairly small footprint, but it's attached to our warehouse where there's two million pounds worth of merchandise, which technically makes this the second largest shop in the country. But we think we are far more than just the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service. We're all about the, the personal fitting. In terms of our service, we think our service is second to none. If you're unsure about that or want to check that out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll serve you the finest Italian Illy coffee. We will serve you proper Yorkshire tea and a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get one of Sean's mum's delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I look forward to talking to you again soon.